there are two realities in Christianity. First is justification. If you have been justified, you've repented, put your trust in Jesus Christ, your sins are gone. In fact, you are seen as righteous. That is a reality. And if that reality exists, a second reality will accompany it, and that is the reality of sanctification. If you are born again, you will grow in holiness. Simple as that. And if you're not growing in holiness, rightly understood, then the first reality doesn't exist either. And Jesus tells us that we need to be discerning about this. Not because we're neater, 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 I'm better than you, but because we are concerned about somebody's soul. So let's take a look at the rules of true and false conversion. It starts out with we're hopeful. We want Josh to be saved. We want his family to be rescued. We don't want to stomp him and grind him the way the world does with their own. But we're not going to be naive, not because we're not going to be taken advantage of, but because we're concerned about the people who are watching this story. Look, our job, remember, we're not the church. We're not judging Josh's salvation, but he's given us reason to be concerned for him. So we're hopeful, but we're not naive. Jesus has given power to the church, not to you and me as individuals, but to the church to judge his soul and give a stamp of approval and declare on earth what's already been declared in heaven. 1 John 3, 8, 9 gives us another rule. He who keeps on sinning is of the devil. That doesn't mean that Christians don't sin, but Christians don't keep on sinning. Now you say, well, what's keeping on? There are two things to be considered when it comes to discerning the state of somebody's soul, the type of sin and the duration of the sin. Josh was doing some pretty big, nasty stuff. Josh was doing it for a pretty long time. What does the Bible say is the time limit for an individual who professes to be a believer who's living in sin? It doesn't give us one. Why? Because the Bible's brilliant, and there's a gazillion scenarios, and the Bible doesn't say, if somebody is, co somebody is committing the sin of lying for more than six weeks and two days, they're not a Christian. Do you know how big that rule book would have to be? to apply to everybody's situation. Instead, Jesus gives the authority to the local church, and he says, judge wisely. You know the circumstances better than the body does. Understand that Christians sin, as it's been said. Sheep stumble, pigs dive. Sheep hate it, pigs wallow in it. <laughs>